Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, hello and welcome back to TIE Fighter Reimagined. I'm Computer, and in the last episode we dealt with Harkov's resupply chain, or what was left of it. He's kind of been reduced to having to capture just random Imperial convoys, apparently. But, yeah, we now have... I think we may even have him cornered. Because now Vader is here, and I'm pretty sure he has an interdictor with him. And so... It feels a little early to deal with uh, Harkov, actually. In the original TIE Fighter, Battle 5 was five missions long, and I think this is mission four? Yeah. But, uh, we shall see. Maybe there's a twist. Or the twist is that this is the mission we capture Harkov. Remains to be seen. We are finally ready to engage Harkov's fleet directly and capture Harkov himself. Lord Vader will personally oversee this operation from the Imperial class Star Destroyer Devastator. He has brought along an Interdictor class cruiser to prevent the enemy fleet from escaping, so they'll have no choice but to turn and fight. Against two Star Destroyers and our support fleet though, they don't stand a chance, even with the Rebel forces aiding them. Our scouts have reported that Harkov himself is currently on the Rebel platform, so capturing it will be essential. This will also give us further opportunities to interrogate more Rebel prisoners for information about their activities. All other enemy forces are to be completely annihilated. We must make an example of anyone who turns traitor against the Empire. You will be flying an assault gunboat designated Mew-1 with five wingmen and armed with concussion missiles. You will support our other squadrons, giving cover to our bombers and intercepting any torpedo attacks against our own fleet. As you are facing both Imperial and Rebel fleets, you will face a wide variety of enemy craft, including the few remaining TIE Advance class fighters still in Harkov's possession. Once Harkov has been located, assist our assault transports in disabling their targets so they can capture it. Harkov could still have a nace up his sleeve, so be prepared for anything. He may also try to escape on another ship once discovered, so be ready to inspect any new shuttles or transports trying to flee the area. It is imperative that Harkov be captured alive, so we can learn of any other traitors within our midst. Okay. An assault gunboat feels a little bit like a demotion, but uh, if I have to disable ships, then it makes sense, because we don't have the Defender yet, so the assault gunboat is the only one with ion cannons. Unless you leave it up to the NPCs to do it. With our strike force now ready, the time has come to capture the traitor Harkov and destroy his fleet. Lord Vader himself will lead the assault from the Imperial class Star Destroyer Devastator. With our superior firepower and the interdictor Onyx preventing their escape, the enemy fleet should be easily dispatched. Our intel suggests Harkov is currently on the Rebel platform discussing strategies with his Rebel friends. As such, our primary objective will be to board and capture the platform intact. First though, we'll need to deal with the enemy fleet. You, along with all our other squadrons, will engage the enemy, eliminate their starfighter defense, and assist our bombers in destroying their targets. Once the fleet has been dealt with, we can send in assault transports to disable and capture the rebel platform. Harkov will then be brought before Lord Vader. With our strike for- Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to leave, yeah. Either by shuttle or transport hopefully not an assault transport but or escort uh, shuttle otherwise modified frigate frigate victory mm. it's gonna be a big battle though kind of wish I wasn't in a gunboat but um, yeah moving on Yeah, uh, the gunboat is a little bit too slow for my liking. Let's see, warheads, advanced missiles, good. I was worried it would be just normal missiles. Um, could go with rockets, missiles, torpedoes, or advanced torpedoes. Nah, missiles, good. Countermeasures, chaff, 
or flare. I've never actually managed to successfully use chaff before. Then again, I haven't been able to use the flare either, um, except when I played the the original Tie Fighter. So let's go with chaff then, because it can last uh, against several tor uh, torpedoes or missiles. Now, also, oh yes, um, goals. Harkov must be captured. Secret objective, inspect any escaping craft. Platform 1DS5 must be captured. Devastator must survive. Osprey must survive. But the Interdictor must not. Or, that sounds wrong. Um, Alright, yeah. Let's go. Nice neb. Hold on. The fleet is ready. That's cool. Are you going to be your formation flank? Nice. I love that. We'll try. Also, is that uh, from the classic TIE Fighter or a new voice actor? Or is it uh, an altered... I don't know. Um, gonna give him a couple of extra seconds, and now we go. That's beautiful. Also, I did, ooh, love that. Enemy fleet ahead. All squadrons. Seven, four, launch. Second. Engage enemy fighters and screen our capitals from torpedo runs. F five. It should be fine after that. But yeah, I love that you can see the nebula before the jump, and then you get to be inside it, more or less. I love that. Also, I love the colors. Very nice. Um, you're attacking me. I don't like that. Um, squadron, attack type. And then I attack the other one. I think this should be fine. Alternatively... Don't attack the TIE Advanced. Hey one! Attacking crop dead ahead. Please do. We have B wings, we have Y wings, we have A wings. Probably also X wings. Those two are the only ones attacking me though. Oh never mind, they're not. You are two. And you're closer. And you. Almost, ooh, twice in a row. How am I having troubles with this? There we go. I agree, that was very close. And this one is going straight down. Will not be an easy death for you, I promise that. Maybe I don't. I could just leave you disabled like that. But no. No, 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 no. I don't want anyone else getting to you. Oh right. You you get to survive. Unless someone else shoots you. Oh. I, I hit you twice with the ion cannons. Got him. This is three. I'm engaged defensive. This is three. I'm having trouble over here. What's with this? They're so. I could have sworn at least one of the ion cannons hit you. Oh, hello. Thank you for the wake-up call. It's not something I needed, but thank you anyway. And there you are, disabled. Fine, I'm just gonna focus on stopping them from attacking me. 
Thank you. No. Nope. That was a... Why did I shoot there? You have attacked a friendly craft. No, I didn't. He was in my way. He... He rammed my... Wait, what is that? A hammerhead. I don't have the firepower to deal with that. Really cool that it, they're, they've added that to the mission, though. It's the one you saw in Rogue Squadron. Oh, no, not Rogue Squadron. Rogue One. Though, in fairness, it probably showed up somewhere in Rogue Squadron as well. Yes. They're going to ram the interdictor onyx. Stop them. I can't really do anything. This is fine. I've got a starship. Uh, uh, maybe all of you could like intensify forward firepower. Whoa. This is fine. I'm having trouble over here. Uh, I could probably deal with you though. those. Hey one, keep your distance. Uh, I'll try, I'll try. Okay, you're going up ahead now. Guys, why are you focusing on what uh, eagle? What is that a time? Okay, sure, fine. And now they've started shooting at the wrong ship. Got it. And you are now going forward at a massive speed boost. I know you're all really like me, I know. Guys, um, let's see. Oh, okay, never mind. 1% and it's still not going down means it's invulnerable, unlike the Onyx. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means Harkov is free to leave. I'm gonna do that because I need the speed. Give me some of those turrets. Whoa, 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 what, what, what? Um, how? You didn't lock on. Also, cover me, cover me. Okay, speed it is. Seems unwise. Bye bye. No, that wasn't. Can't let him leave. The protector oh. and her fleet have managed to escape. Cover me, anyone. We have a shuttle. I'm gonna go under so I avoid most of the turrets. Decoy, unknown, crew, Harkov. Oh, hello. There. How much to do can you take? Report on 
Thank you. You're the only one attacking me, okay. I don't have a shield. I might as well go that way then. Oh boy. Okay, no one is attacking me now. I can stop with the vomit-inducing things. Oh. Get me some weapons. We have... Orange. All right. They seem to be struggling, shall we say? Report on secondary target. Their shields are out. Report on secondary target. They have been disabled. The rebel platform has been disabled. Assault crops ah. will proceed to board and capture it. There you are. I don't think you're going to survive long enough for this to... yeah. Secondary target update. They have been captured. <laughs> That's a waste of ammo, but sure. Where are you? There you are. Hold on, what was you? Friend. And you have been captured. Oh boy. That's a... Big mission. Well, let's go up a little bit and then look at you. Good. Oh. Okay, it was upside down. Got it. Good. fly this way and you could easily ram me without even blinking Harkov will be immediately brought before Lord Vader I could just you leave won. return to devastator's hangar devastator oh well then don't mind if I do so I might as well go with this and this and then this and this. Uh, maybe... Can't believe I survived all of that. Hello, Ties. Don't drown me, please. That was a little bit too close. Do not appreciate it. Um... Oh, you're the escort. Not me. I think. Where did they go? Where did they go? Oh no, they, they entered the hangar of the, the station. Got it. Makes a heck of a lot of sense. Unlike this ship flying upside down. Also, I wonder if there's gonna be a problem with me leaving this hangar and then entering this hangar because I think the game presumes that you're entering the same hangar that you started from. I don't think it can load two hangars in the same mission, maybe? So there might be some graphical wonkiness going on in just a bit. Still. Ah, now you deign to walk, uh, 
walk what no fly right side up and poof oh hello all right well um sure didn't get a bonus from that then again it is kind of the point of the mission Yeah, this is beautiful. Excellent. Welcome, Admiral Harkov. We have a matter to discuss. What is the location of your fleet? <laughs> now you shall pay for your treachery. last mission cool so it's a little bit shorter than the original I think thank you yes it's beautiful oh yes loyalty superb work Although we suffered a major setback with the enemy fleet largely escaping and the unexpected loss of the interdictor thanks to the rebels' desperate and reckless acts of terrorism, you have successfully located and captured the traitor Harkov and helped in capturing the rebel base. Harkov is on his way to a personal meeting with Lord Vader as we speak, who I'm sure is eager to have a chat with our former admiral. Hopefully, he can tell us where his fleet may have fled to. Though they may have escaped destruction this day, rest assured, they will eventually be hunted down and destroyed. You have served the Emperor well today. One way or another, Harkov will tell Lord Vader what he wants to know, which will hopefully lead to us rooting out other traitors in our midst who have aided Harkov in locating what's left of his fleet. We can hope, we can hope. Uh, wow. I expected I, I... I thought I destroyed more than that. But I guess not. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, I'm pretty sure I destroyed at least two TIE Advanced with my missiles. Uh, I feel tricked somehow. There's cheating going on, I think. I get anything except the medal? I mean, yeah, that's more than enough. Thank you, and everything like that, but... Commander... No, nothing new. Unless I'm blind. Which is... Would be fair. Um... 45%... Cargo... Pargo, sorry. That probably happens to you a lot with that name. Kwanzan, I just heard... Hey man, I just heard you were instrumental in the plot to uncover Admiral Harkov's intentions to de defect to the Rebellion. And my CEO... Uh, CEO, sorry. Also just said you flew in the battle to capture him and were instrumental in that as well. What in Palpatine's name have you gotten involved in, man? That's insane. It sounds almost fantastic. Have you met that Vader character yet? Is he really three meters tall? P.S. Send the message to your mother. Yes, Cargo, I will. I, I, uh, later, not right now. Yeah. Also, that three meters tall, that was actually something I was told when I was a kid. Also, I was told that the first Death Star was big enough to, um, was the size of a thousand suns. Even though I had seen the movie, and they describe it as a small moon, I believed it. Death Star, sure, yeah, a thousand suns can fit inside the Death Star, that's... Yeah, maybe neutron stars, but, um, probably not. Um, yeah, also Darth Vader was three meters tall, even though on screen he definitely isn't. Yeah, childhood is weird, man. But, yeah, um, that mission is actually rather tricky. They tell you to destroy any torpedoes you see, or like act as a uh, torpedo defense, I should say. 
Um, you don't have to. You don't need to. There's no worries at all about that. And then the uh, the uh, Hammerhead Corvette strikes, and it's invulnerable. You, you can just sit back and watch. And um, no, the trickiest bit is one, like so many ships will just randomly decide that you, they hate you for no reason, probably, really. Like you might have not shot a single shot yet. And like, they will all go, no, you dead now. And uh, yeah, no, uh, that's the tricky, tricky bit. And also when, when your officer tells you to dump everything into engines and go to the station, do so immediately because three ships will launch and they will go into hyperspace within the minute i think uh, maybe one and a half minutes before they leave and if you don't identify or yeah if you don't identify all three the mission is lost if even one of them gets away before you identify it the mission is lost that's the way i should phrase it and then because you've dumped everything into engines you might not have enough weapons or shields and uh, then you have to deal with the like the yt 1300 that has turrets and i think it's the version that has two turrets so yeah and also the turrets of the station will be very upset with you one thing i didn't like was that the station has a missile launcher that you cannot target uh, you can destroy its other turrets, but the missile launcher, no. That's just, it's not in there anywhere. And it will be one of the biggest issues as you approach the station, because it will whittle down your shields if you're not careful, and then the turrets will do the rest, basically. So, yeah, be careful about all of that. So, hmm, but... With all of that griping over and done with, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been TIE Fighter Reimagined, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.